Okay, the last salt preparation method is called ionic precipitation. Okay, and it is used to prepare for a salt that is insoluble. So within our syllabus, if you remember, silver lead chloride, student leader chlorides insoluble, peanut butter cat sulfates insoluble. These five salts are all not soluble, they are all solid. Okay, we will use the word the method ionic precipitation. So back to the first question, is the salt soluble? No, method ionic precipitation. Okay, so how does ionic precipitation work? It's this way. I have two aqueous solution in a test tube. I pour one into the other and then it forms a precipitate. Okay, this cloudy stuff that you see, right? This is your precipitate. And this method of just pouring one reagent to the other is called ionic precipitation. And this precipitate is solid. And it is actually the five salts that are not soluble. Okay, for this method to work, you must pick two aqueous substances. And most of the time, we will pick the nitrate. Why the nitrate? Because all nitrates are soluble. So pick it and it will always be aqueous. And pick the acid. Okay, so in an example, to prepare AGCl, right? Pick the aqueous silver nitrate plus HCl. Okay, when we write your equation, your silver, keep the H plus, partner the Cl, you get silver chloride. And this is the salt, solid that we see. And the H partner the nitrate to get HNO3. This is your aqueous. So this silver chloride, sorry, forget the Cl. The silver chloride you will see as a precipitate. Okay, after that, what do we do? We filter and then we wash and dry with filter paper. Okay, this method will only work when I pick two aqueous substances. When I pick the aqueous, pick the nitrate because all nitrates are soluble. And pick the acid. Okay, and this ionic precipitation is for these five insoluble salts within the syllabus. Okay. Okay, some students may ask, right? AGCL. Why I cannot use titration or in excess method? Okay, so same thing. The Cl will come from HCl, the acid. Silver, if we use back the same method, it will come from Ag. AgO. Ag carbonate. Or the A. G O H two, the hydroxide, the oxides and the hydroxides. Those are your bases. Please remember. Okay, writing back the state symbol: silver metal solid. Oxides are bases. They are solid. Carbonate from rock solid. Hydroxides are bases solid. Okay, so all are solid. Of course, I cannot do titration. Cannot go into the pipette and burette. So why don't I do this in excess method, right? So example, in excess method, I'm supposed to pick the oxide or the hydroxide or the carbonate. So if I pick, example, the oxide, and I add it in excess, then I pour in your hydrochloric acid. Okay, once you add one drop of the acid, the reaction will start. So my HCl okay, will go and react with the Ag2. Oh, the oxide that's in excess. And then if I swap partner, you will give me AgCl plus H2O. And then just balance out your equation. Okay, so this silver chloride that is being formed is a solid. Right, where will it form? Right, I pour in the HCl, yeah? Where will it form? Will it form here? Will it form here? Will it float on top? Where will it form? It will not just be suspended in the solution, okay? Because once it touch the re, re, once both reagents touch each other, the silver chloride will form a layer around this. It will form a layer around your silver oxide. So if I continue to pour in more acid, 
it is not touching the AGO anymore. It is touching the AGCL. So when it touches the AGCL, this equation, you swap the partner. There is no reaction. My AG partner CL, the H partner CL, you get the same thing. There's no reaction. Okay, so an insoluble salt, a salt that's not soluble, these five salts, right? Why I cannot use in excess method is because the salt is insoluble, it will coat a layer around the base or the carbonate. Be accurate, the excess base of carbonate stopping the reaction so this equation this reaction doesn't work because it stops the reaction 